Hey, what's up, everyone? Whether you work in the retail, wholesale, or manufacturing, there's only one thing worse than having too much of inventory, and that's not having enough. When you run out of inventory, you're missing out on sales, or you are shutting down a production line. In this video, I will show you two different ways to think about how much inventory you really need. The first way is to use inventory is called cycle stop inventory, and it's really about decoupling step in your supply chains. For example, let's say that a store get a discount if they buy 10 widgets from their wholesaler, but their customer only buy one widget per day. The store can use cycle stop inventory to decouple this step. If they order a new shipment once every 10 days, then they should always have one widget in stock to sell to their customers. The amount of money you spend on cycle stock inventory depends on the amount of products you buy at one time. As long as your timing is perfect, then the average cycle stock is one half of the order size. So to reduce the cost of cycle stock inventory, all you need to do is to reduce your order sizes. But be careful. When you reduce the order sizes, you need to order inventory more often, and that will increase your transportation costs. Cycle stock is fairly easy to manage when you have steady level of supply and demand. But real world supply chains are unpredictable. For example, what happens to the widget store if a shipment is delayed? Or is a customer buy three widgets instead of one? To handle this uncertainty, you can use a second kind of inventory called safety stock. Safety stock inventory is a buffer that protects you from variations in supplies and demand. The more variability there is in the supply chains, the more safety stock you need. Remember the benefit of having inventory is that you have products available to sell to your customer or to fit a manufacturing line. But the more inventory you have, the more working capital you are tidying up, and the harder it is for your business to be profitable. So you need to balance the benefit of inventory against the cost. One way to find out the balance is by selecting a target service level. Basically, that means you decide how often you are willing to run out of a product. Many companies choose a 95% service level as their target, meaning that 95 times out of hundreds, they want to have the item their customer wants in stock. A higher service level will increase sales and the customer loyalty, but it will also increase inventory costs. A lower service level will save money, but it could mean they run out of stock so often that they drive customer away. Once you choose a service level, there are mathematically formulas that tell you how much inventory you should have. You can do these calculations by hand, or but most companies use inventory management software to do it automatically. Managing inventory effectively is a critical part of keeping costs down while still meeting your customers' need. And when you optimize cycle stock and safety stock level, you can have a big impact on the profitability and the performance of your whole entire supply chain. So, check out other related inventory learning video on the link at the end of the video. It really help you to understand the basic functions of a company and to effectively manage your department in your company. Once again, my name is Vivian. I am the business software coach. I really appreciate you guys here. Have a great day and I see you in my next video.